Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy. This past summer we had requests at more than one place uh, uh, and during instructor training on how to model a CO2 car. And I know it comes from the fact that the teachers and the students don't have a lot of background in SolidWorks and then here they are thrown into this project. SolidWorks is so supportive of all of the, the school projects. So if you go to the home and go to instructor curriculum, you're going to find Lego, NASCAR, a CO2 car, and a bunch of others. They have a wonderful PDF file on how you model it as well. But sometimes just seeing is one of those in uh, learning styles, and that helps a lot. So um, one instructor had the perfect um, line for wind resistance and that's what he wanted to do and then he had a machine he could machine this on too which was wonderful now I could take a line or a spline under sketch but I'm going to take a spline because then I can curve it uh, the program says where I'm going to select this as my face I'm going to start in the middle here and the more points you put on a spline the more accuracy you can get. I'm going to end up, and this is not the perfect one, with a little uh, heavier rear end to keep it down and settled. Now I'm going to head over to Features and do a cut. So under the cut I want to go from the surface. I'm going to select this as my surface. I want to go through all, so that's great. So I'll blue this up and I'll say I want to go from this spline and get rid of this over here and say green check OK. And now I have what I had designed as the perfect. It's very competitive. Widen your wheelbase, put graphite on your wheels to reduce resistance as well. But uh, there's what my model looks like. Now I could also take this and put it on the top and do the same thing. Do a line, do a midpoint, uh, do a line through the midpoint, do a uh, curve here and uh, mirror it over and trim wherever I wanted to. But other tools that you can use as well is you can use filleting and chamfering. So here is a fillet and if you arrow down you get the chamfer but we're going to do fillet and I'm going to use a 15 millimeter fillet. This is kind of new that you can f uh, select your units on the fly. I think that's a really nice feature in the new SolidWorks educational version. Okay, now we have the little blue box open for us to select. I'm going to select this one and that one. I'm going to green check OK and see if that looks like a mean machine to me. And I could save this now and then I could go and make an assembly and we have uh, videos on assembly but uh, one thing you want to do is you can mate those wheels on, when you get your axle in there uh, to uh, you can make them center to center or whatever you want to concentric makes and so that's the key to doing that but I hope that everybody is a winner with the CO2 car and hopefully this gave you some ideas on how to edit and make the perfect CO2 car Thanks for listening.